family's Ginkgo Asia. So that's nice. And then the common name is the same as the genus. And then the species is Biloba. Yeah, I was going to say someone showed me. Some of them have two lobes. A lot of them don't. They'll just have a wavy edge, but they're on the, on the tree. They'll be split leaves by lobe. Uh, it's also known as a living fossil, like what? Don Redwood. Don Redwood, because it was named in the fossil record, and then lo and behold, it was kept in cultivation over in Asia. I believe it's monks, one group. They had them in the gardens, like, like this. And so it's sort of like the Western world was like, oh, that's a ginkgo. And they're like, yeah. <laughs> And so it wasn't ever extinct, but they, it was named with the fossil record. Now, in the past, there were more trees in that family and order, and that's one of the few left. Ones. So it's still sort of like a fossil tree. It's very, very primitive. Uh, another thing that's strange about it is it's a gymnosperm, okay, not a angiosperm. It's got a naked seed, an ovule that just kind of sits there. It's not down in an ovule. No. no. Well, in fact, since you brought that up, uh, this these are planted as ornamentals because one reason is they'll turn beautiful lemon yellow. <laughs> all look on your DVD. The leaf you're, you're going to get is the only one you're going to get. There it is, only one that has fan-shaped venation. The veins come out of the petiole and go like you know an oriental fan. You don't have any other tree that's got a leaf. So fan-shaped veins. Then they are displayed on the tree in the winter, what people do. We can still find some leaves, but they don't see as many as you guys. You see all the little wooden pegs, little stubby-like pencils on there. Those are short shoots. That remember large last week? And the real short ones? Little these are the same sort of a thing. And what every one of them has, if you look, there's a set of leaves on it. And so it's a way to efficiently display their foliage. So it keeps, they're basically like a bud on a very, very short stick. They only, you know, just like on March, they grow, you know, like a millimeter a year. <laughs> so these ones all the way back on this limb here, you know, that little thing that's that long, two inches, that could be 20 years old. It's as old as that limb is. And uh, so they, they grow very little every year. All they do is put a little bit of leaves on and run a little whirl on this. And that's it. Well, another weird thing about it, this is the, uh, a dioecious tree, separate male and female. They box out on one. And the female, does anybody know anything about it? The, the fruit? Anybody know what? They smell really bad. Yeah, they actually, it's a gymnast fruit, so you're thinking, oh, does it have a cone? You know, not at all. It has a little fleshy, plump like fruit, small, kind of tan to yellow in color. And when those fall on the ground, they they smell kind of like a combination of vomit and dog poop. Uh, bark's kind of a creamy brown. We don't have that many brown barks, right? It's kind of a creamy brown. And go up and feel it. It's a little, it's like thumbnail squishy. Uh, not as much as a cucumber tree, but a little bit spongy. Not a bit spongy, but feel a little bit going in. It gives a little bit. I don't think you're going to need that. I mean, you got you have your leaves. You got the form with the little pegs all over it. Um, <coughs> the leaves will be on the ground. So keep it, keep the it simple. Pegs. Yeah, the peg. Yeah, in the winter, right? You really see them, man. They're like, what? You have to start with that because everybody's sitting there saying, "What is that?" And they're the same as the little shoots on black them. Remember the pinky finger? short hands and they display forward. Otherwise that whole limb is empty. So they have those and they have foliage. 